I'm Anil Kumar. We are trying to solve some questions on optimization. Here is a very interesting one. A 20,000 meter cube rectangular system is to be made from reinforced concrete so that the interior length will be twice the height. So we say length is twice the height. Let's write down the relation. Length is two times height. And volume is 20,000. Right? If the cost is 40 per meter square for the base, 100 per meter square for the side walls, and 200 per meter square for the roof, then find the interior dimensions that will keep the cost to a minimum. So we have cost which is different from different size. So it is important to make a diagram and understand this part. To protect the water table, the building code specifies that no excavation can be made more than 22 meters in depth. So that's the maximum depth or we can say height of this system, right? It also specifies that all systems must be at least one meter in depth. So that means we are given uh, restrictions on the depth. So we can say height, since we wrote h here, is, has to be greater than or equals to 1 and less than or equals to 22 meters, right? So that is a restriction on height. Now this very clearly indicates that we should get equation in terms of height to solve this question, right? I have, I, I think you get the idea, right? So let's make a rough sketch here. So just a small sketch. So let us say this is, this is the block we are interested in. And the volume of this block is given to us, right? So let's say this is, this is what it is. In which we can say, that one dimension is width, length, and height. Let me use, okay, I wrote capital, but we should write small, okay. Okay, we'll write all in lower cases, fine. It says the volume is 20,000 meter cube. So volume is 20,000. Now this volume is length times width times height. We also know that length is 2 times height, so we can replace this length by 2 times height. So we have uh, width times 2 times height times height. So we get an expression which is 2 times width height square. Now since we need an expression in height, we can find what width is in terms of height. So that is our first step. So from here we can say width is equals to 20,000 divided by 2 height square, right? So which is 10,000 over height square. So that is how width is related with height, correct? Now we want to minimize the cost, correct? We want to minimize the cost. For the cost, we are given that each surface has got a different cost attached to it. So we are looking for the surface area, right? Now in this particular case, let's go by the cost. If the cost is 40 per meter square for the base, so that is the base for us, right? So this is the base. Base is length into width. So we'll write cost as equals to 40 times area of the base, which is length into width, right? So which is width times length, okay, for the base. 100 per meter square for the side walls. So these are side walls. So we have four side walls here. And the height, length into height will be area of two side walls. And width into height will be area of the front and back, right? So those side walls cost hundred dollars. We say hundred and we have two whose area is this one, right? So front and back. This is front and back, right? So this one, correct? So which is width times height. So two times width times height plus the side walls, which is length and height. So two times length and height. So that covers all the four side walls over the area of Area multiplied by 100 giving us the cost and 200 meters square for the roof. So that is the roof for us, which is 200 times length 
and width so it is length and width so we get one equation for cost which is in terms of length width and height now from this equation we can actually convert everything in terms of height from the two relations we just developed right so we have one equation here that length is two times height the other one here width is 10,000 divided by h square so what I will do now is replace uh, all in terms of h so we have cost in terms of height so first expression will be 40 times width will be 10,000 so we'll write 10 1 2 3 over h square times length which is 2 times h 2 times h plus 100 times 2 times width is 20,000 I mean 10,000 by h square so we'll write 10 1 2 3 over h square that is width times height plus 2 times length is 2 times height 2 times height times height right plus 200 length is 2 times height times width is 10,000 over h square so so you get an expression which is only in in height so we can write cost in terms of height is equals to you can simplify this slowly right so so be careful in these calculations so h and h cancels so you get 40 into 2 is 80 so 80 in times 1 2 3 4 0 so we have 80 and 1 2 3 4 zeros divided by h correct so let me push this up a bit here plus here we get 100 times and here within the brackets we have we can take two common let's say 200 we'll take two common or let's keep it here it's 100 times 20,000 over h over h plus 4 h square okay plus when you open this up you get uh, 2 times 200 400 so let me write 400 400 and 1 2 3 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 zeros divided by h right so so that is the expression which you get for the cost itself so now in this case what you should do is you can uh, find the derivative or combine these terms so with h as your denominator we have three terms here and then we have 4h square times 100 right so that is how you have so let's combine these so with h as a denominator we can add the numerators which is uh, let me use the calculator now 800,000 so we have 800 so all are in thousands let's say 800 plus in this case if I multiply so we'll leave these two zeros so we get 2000 so plus 2000 plus 2000 and in this case we have 4000 right so we have 4000 plus 4000 every number is in thousand so it's 6800,000 right so it is 6800,000 6800 and then thousand three more so that is how you can do it slowly and then plus we have 400 h squares 400 h square so that is the expression for the cost now this is a very simple expression to work with you can next step is find the derivative equated to zero right so so find the derivative so c dash h should be equals to zero and here this is minus of h square of all this we get minus 680 four zeros one two three four over h square and here you get plus 800 h right now this is to be equal to zero so that means when you cross multiply right so that will give you solve for h so h equals to what just solve for h so when you do cross multiplication you'll get 680 divided by cube root so this becomes cube so it is cube root of 680 four zeros one two three four divided by 800 is it okay 
and then you can use your calculator to find the value of height. Right? So we have 680 four zeros one two three four divided by 800 equals to so 8500 so we are doing cube root of 8500 so cube root of 8500 is equals to it gives us 20.4 right so we get one decimal place height as 20.4 now as an exercise what you should do here is because I'm running out of space and I'm giving you a hint how to do it so you can find the cost for so find cost when height is 1 find cost when height is 22 right find cost when height is 20.4 correct compare all of them whichever is minimum is your answer so you'll definitely get minimum for 20.4 correct interior dimensions so we have to give interior dimensions correct so interior dimensions means length width and height so our answer will be let me write down our answer now here so we have length which is equals to twice height one decimal place we can say 40.8 right width as let's calculate 10,000 10 1 2 3 divided by 20.4 square that gives us approximately to one decimal place 24 right 24.0 and height as 20.4 so that becomes the dimensions for this particular question right so that is how we will be doing so we need to find the minimum cost and I hope when you do the calculations you'll get minimum cost for 20.4 which is approximately $500 in this particular calculation and that becomes here the dimensions of the system. I hope the steps are clear. Thank you and all the best.